Greetings to everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now. My dear brothers and sisters, I'm here to bless you. I am here to encourage you and I'm here to speak words of uplifting unto your lives. Brothers and sisters, if you are watching me for the very first time, you are welcome to this amazing channel where I release God's word, where I encourage you and where I uplift you in the things of God. Remember that you are not watching me by mistake. You have not clicked on this video by coincidence. There is a reason as to why you are watching me right about now. I would like to welcome everyone and remember that every single day I have these amazing videos that are released on a daily basis. I also have live streams where I pray for you, I encourage you, and I let you know about the things of God. Brothers and sisters, it is amazing, and I have a word for you, and today's word is be careful, be careful of certain people. Not everyone who comes to you means you well. Not everyone who says good, good morning to you, how are you, means it. Some people are checking whether that witchcraft they sent to you is actually working. So there are certain witches, certain warlocks, evil people, men and women who have been monitoring you for a long, long time. It is important, my brothers and sisters, that you watch and pray because we are in the very last days. We are in the last days where men will be lovers of themselves. Children and uh, people will be hateful towards one another. Children will be disobedient to their parents. So be very careful, my brothers and sisters, and pray for your loved ones. Pray for your families, even those that are fallen, that they will rise up. Brothers and sisters, there are men who are among us that pretend to be one of us, but they are not of us. They have been sent by the enemy to cause confusion. Today's scripture is from the book of Jude, chapter 3. Jude, I repeat, today's scripture is from the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. I repeat, Jude, chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. The Bible says, Beloved, while I was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you, to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. For certain men have crept in unnoticed, who long ago were marked out for this condemnation. Ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the only Lord, God, our Lord, Jesus Christ. You see what the Bible says? The Bible says that certain men have crept in unnoticed. They have crept in unnoticed. So it is very important that you watch and pray. It is very important that you meditate on the word of God day and night, not only day, but also during the night. The Bible says it clear. That this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night. You have to meditate on it day and night so that you are careful to do the will of God. Bible says it clear in the book of Romans that do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to renew your mind because there is a pattern this world is presenting. And if you're not careful, it is going to sweep a lot of people. We are living in the days where great deception has fallen among many people. Brothers and sisters, be careful who you follow. The Bible says, for certain men have crept in unnoticed. They have gone under the radar. It is hard to notice them. They have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. These are the people that are fighting men of God. When a man of God performs a miracle, 
they attribute that miracle to the work of the devil. You see, even the times of Jesus, Pharisees fought against him. Sadducees fought against him. The teachers of the law fought against him. When he performed a miracle, when he uh, healed the sick, they say this one must be of the devil. And yet it was of God. The Bible says certain men have crept in unnoticed who long ago were marked out for this condemnation. These men were marked out. They have a marking on them. And if you can look at them in the spiritual realm, you will see a marking that they are not of God. The Bible says it clear. You shall know them by their fruits. If you want to know these men, there is a mark on them. And that is their fruits. That's one of the marks. It is their fruits. Bible also says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. What are they saying? What are they saying? Is it biblical? Do they acknowledge Jesus Christ of Nazareth as Lord and Savior? These are people that will come and tell you that there are many ways to go to heaven. It's not only one way. Watch out for those men who always, who always tell you that there are other ways to go to heaven. That Jesus is not the only way. Watch out for those men. They reject our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, hear it from me. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the only way. Truth and life. He is the only way to heaven. There is no other way. Let no one lie to you. The Bible says these are ungodly men. They are ungodly men. They deny the Lord God, our Lord Jesus Christ. They have denied him. They have denied him. They have lost their faith. Be careful. Be very careful. Watch and pray, brothers and sisters. Because we are living in the last days. The Bible says, as it were in the days of Noah, so shall it be at the days of the coming of the Son of God, man. At the days of coming of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it is likened unto the days of Noah. So you have to track back and see what happened in the days of Noah. People were lovers of themselves. Disobedience increased. Hatred, murder, a lot of evil was present. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope this, was a, this word has encouraged you. Please keep on praying for one another. Encourage one another in the word of God. And uh, we, call, we are the body of Christ. And if the body of Christ, one part of the body suffers harm, you make sure that you pray for that body. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. Until next time, shalom.